Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2 where we've had a few like minor tsunamis here. Now this side I'm not worried about. This side will happily flow out over here. In fact, if we crank up the game speed here and just watch it, I was able to actively see it. At, yeah, there we go. We can see it actively flowing this direction and that'll be fine. This will all drain out this direction, I think. Yeah, it should. This should all drain this way. So I'm not concerned about this side. This side, on the other hand, that's a little concerning. We've also got this area up over here and this area up over here. And we'll need to figure out exactly how we want to get that sorted. I think for the moment, what we may end up doing is just terraforming these little pockets out of here. But we'll need to do something about this situation immediately. So let's get started on that. For the time being, I'm just going to grab the level terrain tool and we're going to bring this down to about size 50. And we're just going to toss in a little bit of a wall here just to make sure that our flooding doesn't affect these areas. Okay, I'm going to proceed this a little further down to about here. There, that should be reasonably safe. Okay. So now that that's happening, we'll let that proceed. And this water here is just going to sit here. But what we need right now is we need to allow... Why is the, why is the rain falling so slowly? That's insane. Everything is so slow right now. Okay. I think the game might be mildly confused. <laughs> We need to allow this flow to reach the ocean. That is, of course, one of the big things that need, needs to happen here. And we just need to allow the water levels to settle. We need to stop messing with the river and just let the water sit where it's going to sit. But we needed to build that wall first. So that is mission number one. All of this needs to flow down. This over here is just going to sit here for the time being until we get the water settled where it's actually going to settle out at. I want to take a quick look up over here. Yeah, this should all be reasonably fine. Reasonably fine for now. So, have we reached the sea? We're very, very close here. There we go. Now we've reached the sea, and the water will just flow right on out through here. Perfect. So all of this water is exiting at a rather high rate of speed. So now we know that this area over here has a nice natural flow for the way that the water wants to exit. And that's great. I'm very pleased about that. But it will take time for all of this water to exit. There is a lot of water here. No doubt about that. This side out over here is much worse in terms of how that's going to go about happening. So we need to figure out where the lowest point over here is, and we can figure that out based on the water depth, right? So I suspect that's going to be right here. So what we need to do now is we need to grab our terraformation tool, and we need to do a slope terrain tool. I'm going to have this be the minimum size of 10, and I want to grab just above the current water level. Now, I don't expect that this is going to work, but we want to do something kind of like that. Some water might flow out through that. I think it's a little too low, actually. So we need to grab it, like, here. Yeah, we can see that that is below water level. So this is not going to be functional. Okay, that is fine. We'll just close that back up for the time being. Okay, so we're going to need to allow the water to continue to settle. Are we flowing in over here? No. That should be fine, then. Okay, keeping an eye on this situation over here. Yep, this water is definitely flowing on out here. It's not entirely covering this area, and that's fine. All of this water will eventually exit. What is going on here in High Street? Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with anything over here until this water drains out. That is the top priority right now. Is this area zoned? I feel like it should be. It is zoned. Okay. This must have been previously flooded, and the water has drained this direction, is my guess. 
but the water is definitely exiting on this side. So that's great. As far as this over here goes, I think... I think that this water may, in fact, be lower. I'm not 100% on that. We're going to have to adjust our embankments, of course, but I want to wait on that until we know what our water levels are. We can also lower the water level over here manually if we decide that that's what we want to do. That said, it will eventually be limited by our dam over here, right? So that is going to be the primary concern there. I think the water is mostly at the level it's going to be. I want to take a look here. Okay, so if we wanted to lower this water level out over here, we would simply use the shift terrain tool here and bring this down like that. Then I would grab the level terrain tool and we would grab that level and we would just do something like this, right? So we would bring this out over here and we create a bit of a basin over here. Now the entire area ahead of it is going to have to be at most that level. So that'll end up being something kind of like this. Okay. So for the time being, we'll let that settle. And that may create another tsunami, but it shouldn't be a huge deal if it does. That should be relatively okay. Checking in on the flow out over this direction. Yeah, that's definitely still flowing down to the sea here. So that should eventually drain out over here. I'm really not too concerned about it, but it will take time to have all of that water flow down. But it's definitely flowing that direction. So that looks good. The water will exit this area. I want this here to reach a lower water level throughout this area. And this over here as well should be at a lower water level. So I want to grab like this level here. Well, really, this is going to be at this point regulated by the dam. It is. So that's potentially an issue. With this, with this altitude here. Okay, I'm not going to do too much for additional changes here. I want to check in on this highway here. Are we having any leakage? No, that should be solid. I don't think that there's any water leaking in over here. Of course, it is raining. I don't know if rain in this game adds to this water. It may or may not. But eventually this will flow out. So that'll be okay. That all looks fine for the moment. I can see that this area up here is currently flooded. Hang on. There's definitely an issue here. Yes. I think the water is coming in here. Okay. Let's get that changed. So we're going to go down to size 10 brush. And I want to grab this height here. What is this doing? Why is this not leveling the terrain to the height I selected? This height, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I'm pretty sure the issue here is the highway, but what we what we can do is we can do something kind of like that. That's going to need to get cleaned up, no doubt about it, but we can just make sure that this area here is okay for the time being. Cool. So we'll do that. I'm not surprised that we're having potential surges over here. In fact, this area might be flowing over here as well. But that's because we're altering under the river. And like I said, we need to stop that. We need to just let this settle in and figure out where it's going to be. That would be the ideal scenario. We can also, of course, I, I wish we had the option to control the water level off of this dam. That would be a really convenient thing to have. That's the thing that they can do in reality is they can raise and lower the water level here from the dam. That would be a really, really good thing to be able to do here because I would lower the water level right now, if we could. Unfortunately, that's not currently an option. So we're keeping an eye on this water out over here. For the moment, it's just chilling, and that's okay. We do see additional water up this way. And for the moment, that's reasonably fine too. 
I'm not too concerned about this. This water is all going to flow out. We will deal with this once the water in the river settles. So that's okay. We'll just let that be for the moment. There is a lot of demand for commercial building up right now. Intriguing. So this was all intended to be commercial. We could make this be commercial here. That's not the worst thing. We may want to stick to low density business, but for the moment, I'm going to go to high density business and we'll see if that works. I'm not convinced it will. And if we have to tone this down to low density business, we will. Actually, that's being built pretty quickly there. Okay. Yeah, this that's draining out the demand. I like it. So that's phenomenal. Before we need more low-density housing, of course, which is deeply unsurprising. And I'm just going to grab some low-density housing over this way. And we'll put this all in over here, too, for now. There, that'll do. Maybe a little bit further up here. That is a terrible angle. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Checking in on our water situation. It is still raining. And that's fine. This water is taking a long time to flow out. Actually, we can see here that this area here is actually a little bit underwater, potentially. So what we need to do here is we need to grab our level terrain tool and just bump up this height a wee bit. Maybe even a little bit higher than that. I mean, even higher than that, ideally. <laughs> it really needs to be somewhere around here. I'm trying not to affect the water physics too much, but let's just put in a wall here like that. And then we can see that this area over here is flooded, but I don't actually care about this area. So for now, we'll just do that. Excellent. Okay, so that'll handle this situation here. There was definitely some water coming in on this side. I don't know if that'll make its way over this way and flood over this direction. I kind of doubt it, actually. It might. It might make it. We'll keep an eye on it, but this river is still flowing on out of here. Our, like, secondary river. And that will take time. That is fine. It will clear out of there. I'm really not too concerned about it. So we can see here that our construction has ceased up over this direction and our usage of commercial demand has stopped as well. So I do want to put some low density business up over this way. We'll just get that put in here and a little bit more up this direction. There we go. That should handle it. Phenomenal. And we're not actually seeing the light residential up here get built all that ravenously. So that's dropping as well for the moment. I like it. That'll do. Checking in on this puddle of water up here. I really don't think anything at all is happening here. Now, one thing that could be happening is that it does evaporate, but that the precipitation that we're receiving right now is replenishing it at, instead of having it evaporate. If the water physics does that, then I applaud the devs. That wouldn't be that hard to do, but it's good to think of. Speaking of things to think of, I'm noticing left turns here. Let's get rid of some of them. So let's remove a left turn here and a left turn here. There we go. Cool. Do we have any traffic issues going on here? There's a traffic jam right up over here, apparently. Okay, we could definitely consider increasing the throughput of this roundabout. I'm not convinced that that's the problem, though. It's more like these drivers don't really know how to roundabout, but... I mean, they're moving okay now. Yeah, they're moving okay. This guy, though, why are you parked? <laughs> I have no idea why he was just chilling there. I think that this will clear up, but we may want to think about upping this in terms of its throughput. So if we were to do that, we would go over to our six-lane road, and we would look to bring this up over here. No problem. Right here, I think. Yep. 
We need to make sure to get this upgrading on the correct lane so that this doesn't have issues. But we can then do something kind of like that. And if we're doing this, then we might want to consider upgrading this all the way through this section. There are going to be some overlapping items here, particularly this section right here. Okay, so let's take that out of there, bulldoze that, and let's see about just building this straight through. Is that going to work? Yeah, that's fine. We need probably some left turn protection here, but otherwise, that'll be fine. No left turn here, no left turn here. Okay, so this section of highway is going to be higher throughput, but lower overall speed. And I don't want to overall upgrade from highways to these six lane avenues. That is not the ideal scenario. I don't want to just go through and do that for all of them. Hang on. We need to get some turn protection here. Stop turning here. Stop turning here. There we go. And uh, we've definitely got some pillar clippage there, but it's probably fine. And actually, this should not be stoplighted either. Get rid of the stoplight there. Get rid of the stoplight here. And that should be the only locations with stoplights, I think. In theory. Yeah, we go down before we get there. Make sure that there's no stoplight here. No stoplight here. And let's just make sure that there isn't one here. Hello, left turns. Let's uh, forbid those. Phenomenal. Okay, so like I said, this will be higher throughput, but it'll be lower top speed. So the policy, I think, is going to be we're only going to do this if the two roundabouts that this is connected to, that this street is connecting, are both upgraded to six lane. If they're both upgraded to six lane, then we should upgrade it. And that means that this should get upgraded as well. So in that case, we would upgrade this guy as well. And this is potentially going to affect the pathfinding. We'll see how that ends up going. So we upgrade here, we upgrade here, and we upgrade here. That was a painless upgrade. I like it. And of course, crosswalks. Crosswalks need to be removed as well. So we would remove crosswalks here, 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 and here, here, and here, and here. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of crosswalks. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan at all. What we really need is highways with more lanes, but we unfortunately don't have access to that. So for now, this is what we're going to have to do. That will, of course, require some left turn stoppage. Please don't turn left here. Uh, there's a lane cross there, but there's not actually that much we can do about that, sadly. Actually, hang on. Is there? What direction should these be going? Hang on. You should be going this way, and you should be going this way. Are these inverted? I think they might be inverted. So we would want to go over to highway. You're going this way. You're going this way. Yeah, they should definitely be going the other direction. Okay. And then this is fine. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That should clean that up a little bit. Now, stoplights. We're going to have to not have stoplights here and not have stoplights here. This is not designed to have any stoplights whatsoever. So get out of here with the stoplights. Otherwise, that looks relatively okay. Hang on. That's a left turn. No left turn. Okay. So that requires a lot of manual work to get these going. That's definitely noted. That is definitely noted. And like I said, the top speed is going to be lower on these areas. So that's potentially going to change the pathfinding. We'll see what that ends up doing overall. Okay, let's check in on the water situation now that we've gotten that dealt with. So this water is definitely flowing out of here. This is definitely at a lower level, but there's still a lot of water in here but it is absolutely exiting. So that is fantastic. We're very, very happy about that. 
Next up, we have this side over here. Now, this is not exiting, and that's not shocking either. Ah. That's noted. Okay, so these sections of highway here are potentially going to cause us some issues then. We'll just see about bringing this on up through here. Something like that. But these sections of highway, I suspect, are indeed going to cause issues unless we do something like that. Okay, now this section is not receiving additional water in theory. In theory. But we're still waiting on the river to settle a bit. I suspect it's probably pretty close to where it's going to be. And I think in part, being able to control the water level from the dam would be really convenient. No doubt about that. I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to elevate this area out over here. I think that's all there is to it. We're just going to have to make sure it's above the water level. Hello. Is this a problem here? Yes, I believe this is a problem. Let's get that out of here. So that's going to be a relatively big project to get that dealt with. To get this all elevated over here. So it's going to need to be like this area here and then out over like this way, right? With basically this highway as the boundary. And we'll just have to take like this street's level. We may have to do the same thing over here, but ultimately this is definitely going to take care of itself. We can see that it's definitely drying out. This area here is going to get stuck. So there is that. But I think overall the rule of thumb needs to be as long as we don't have access to anything like a pump truck, then we just need to, well, actually, could we just build a pumping station in here? I mean, they're kind of big, is the thing. And where we want to build them is in water. So there is that. Like, where do I want to build this pumping station? I would like to build the pumping station, ideally. And I mean, we're going to want to move it around. But I'd like to build the pumping station, ideally, like, somewhere over here-ish. So if we were to build it about here, but we want to build it, it's currently in water, right? We would want to build it, you know, no water there at all. And then this is in water. That's water level too low, but we could put it here. So I'm going to do that for right now. And that's going to start pumping this water out in theory. Yes, water level is too low. It, it can't work efficiently. But I'm not expecting it to work efficiently. I just want it to remove this water. <laughs> this is a really, really crappy way to do this, to be honest. But it is pumping the water out of here. So that's okay. I guess we can do it this way, but it's certainly not ideal. Certainly not ideal. Now most of the water is down over here, right? So if we wanted to relocate this, I would love to put it about over here. Actually, maybe like here. So if we were to relocate it to over here now, it should be starting to pump out this area. But we're really restricted on where we can place this thing. I would love to put it down over here, right? That would be ideal. We can get some of this water pumped out. This is still at 30% efficiency here. We do have low water depth here, but we expect that. But yeah, we're very, very restricted on where we can actually place this, which is why I say that pump trucks would be a better solution to this problem. So at this point, where would we want to put this? I mean, ideally, like here. But we can't build it in water, which is unfortunate. I do wish we could build it in water. That would make things simpler. No doubt about that. So 
we would then want to put it like down over here, right? And actually, that might not be a terrible place to put it. We'd want to have it at the like lowest point, so like somewhere over here. That would be ideal. And then it can just pump all of the water out in theory. Unfortunately, that's. I think not a very viable thing. But this water pumping station has definitely removed water from this area. It's running out of water to remove, but I would love to move it down over here next. So I feel like we would need to extend the road manually in order to do that. Yeah, that's no water there. So we would need to come down ideally like over here, right? And build it somewhere like here. But that report says in water. There has to be a better way to do this. As the area is attracting more high end stores, I looked it up to be clear to and did not you find a better way. Shoes while a fancy local but there has to be a better way. I'm pretty sure that there is. For now, we can just let this water continue to flow on out. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back. And it absolutely is. The water absolutely is flowing out through here. Kind of luck there is. So that's great. That's right. Today we are is our fire truck here? Yes, it is. I mean, there's plenty of water around. That's not a concern. That's not exactly <laughs> what I'm wondering if we're going to have way, full connection through all of this, though, right? right? Oh, so this statement. actually is up to, to Sycamore Street, panic? which is where this starts did, to go down. Okay, that Who shouldn't be we're an issue. I think our biggest problem right now probably does have to do with the fact that it's still raining. It's been raining for a really long time at this point, and so that's definitely a thing. But this water is flowing out, and we can find ways to remove this water over here. We are still only at 22% efficiency over here. We're still removing water over this direction, but this is not really the best way to go. It really, really isn't. This water pumping station is definitely non-ideal. Because the water has to get utilized, right, to get pumped into the, to, to get pumped into the sewage system, the water has to get utilized, and we currently don't really have that much demand for water, so it's not a fantastic solution, all things considered. It does do something. It definitely does remove water eventually. It's slow, it's inefficient, and it's not a great way to do it. And it's quite limited in how you can place it. No doubt about that. I would like to relocate it somewhere down over here. That would be ideal. But actually, we could put it here. Yeah, we'll relocate it down here for now. We didn't get all of this pumped out, but we got some of it. And I want to start tackling all of this at this moment. There's a lot of water over here still, and we should be able to pump a good amount of that out. So that'll be good. We can just use this water pump wherever we need it and just relocate it around. It'll be okay. It's not ideal, but it does theoretically do the trick. And of course, the outlet for this is on the other side of the dam. So that'll be absolutely fine. No concerns whatsoever there. But yes, we do need to get this water situation under control. So we can look here and we can see that this is at low water depth 72 right now. But that is fine. It will take a while to clear all of this out. And we'll just have to steadily move it to a location that is closer to where the actual pooling points are. So that is situations like this up here, right? So this is definitely a pooling point here. And we'll just have to manually pump all of that out. It's not ideal. I would really like to see to, to see the devs fix that particular oversight and get pumping services back in the game. This feels like a pretty significant oversight, to be honest. I'm not concerned about this side again for reasons that we have that we have mentioned previously. That'll flow out eventually, but it does take a while. There's no doubt about that. Do we have any inflow over here? It doesn't look like it. It's just heading down this direction. And then from here, it's just kind of chilling. 
trying to push this way a little bit. I'm not sure it'll succeed. But for now, that will do. We can start pumping some of this water out. And we can see that this is now at minus 71 from low water depth. So that actually got worse. <laughs> but we are definitely pumping the water out. So that is good. I think that this water over here is rising, isn't it? Where would it be coming in from? I mean, flowing down from up here? Actually, yes. I think it is flowing down from up there. We've got it pooling in Elk Street over here. It's pooling here. But there is some water flow coming down this way, down into here. That's a really good sign, actually. What that ends up meaning is that this pump is going to be able to pump that water out pretty effectively from here for a while. Because I don't believe that there's any source for the water up here at this time. I believe that this is just the water that made it through. And it's now flowing this direction in general. So that'll be great. It is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue removing this water from our city. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.